Hello everyone, welcome back to this YouTube channel. For today's video, we are going to tackle about the homeroom guidance of grade 5, for quarter 2, module 7, entitled, Warning. Safety First. This module has six interactive activities for you to follow. Namely, let's try this, which will help you get ready to learn, let's explore this, which will guide you towards what you need to learn, keep in mind, which will give you the lessons that you need to learn and understand, you can do it, which will help you apply the lessons learned in daily activities, what I have learned, which will test and evaluate your learning, share your thoughts and feelings, which will help you express your thoughts, opinions and feelings, make sure to read, think, follow, and enjoy every task that you are asked to do, have fun, stay safe and healthy, Learning Objectives At the end of this module, you are expected to 1. Identify different situations that may lead to harm 2. Enumerate different ways of protecting oneself from harm 3. Evaluate one's strengths and abilities on defending and protecting oneself and others and 4. Demonstrate ways of protecting oneself For the introduction of this module in this module, you will discover that in your age, there are situations you may encounter unknowingly can lead to harm. The ways to protect yourself from danger are very important to learn about. As you finish this module, you can gauge yourself if you can defend yourself and be of assistance in keeping others safe too. Keep going and as you can keep yourself protected at all times. For your first activity which is the let's try this. Number 1. You are going to think of your favorite pet or a plant you want to take care of. 2. Draw your favorite pet or plant at the center of your clean sheet of paper. And 3. Write down all the different ways to keep it safe around your drawing. After you've finished doing the first activity, you may now answer this three processing questions. Number 1. How do you find the activity? 2. What were the challenges you encountered in taking good care of your favorite pet or plant? And 3. What have you learned in the activity that you can use in your daily living? For your let's explore this activity. With the given example below, how can a grade 5 learner like you protect oneself from harm or danger? Write your answers in your paper. Number 1. You are alone at home when somebody knocks at your door saying that he or she is a friend of your parents and wants to come inside your house. What will you do? 2. A child in the neighborhood is saying not so good things about you according to one of your friends. What will you do? 3. Your barangay is on a localized lockdown due to quarantine protocols, but your friends are still playing outside. What will you do? And 4. You have a Facebook friend request from somebody you do not know. What will you do? After you've finished doing the activity, you may now answer this three processing questions. Number 1. What did you feel about the activity? 2. Why is it important to protect oneself? And 3. What skills do you possess which can help you as a child protect yourself at all times? Now, you must keep this in mind. Children have equal rights. You should be provided with proper care, safety, and guidance from adults as you become mature individuals. Our laws protect you from poverty, poor health care, nutrition, safety, and even in all forms of abuse that can affect your total development. It is your right to be protected as a child. As you grow and mature, always be mindful that you have to take care of yourself at home, in school and anywhere else at all times. You have to remember to be cautious when you relate to people you don't know, especially to strangers who want to talk to you. It is nice to be friendly, but it is also better to be aware that there may be some people who may take advantage when they see an opportunity to. It is also important to keep in mind that when we are careless, providing information such as addresses and phone numbers of parents to strangers on the internet can put your lives in danger. 
When you are at home, ask help from those older than you when you want to use the stove or other electrical appliances for your safety. At play, you need to take extra care to avoid accidents, which can put your life at risk. This pandemic, children and the elderly are expected to stay at home. Physical distancing is also required to avoid the spread of the virus. With all these reminders, remember that keeping you safe is a way of your parents' love and concern for you. For your, you can do it activity. With your use of social media or the internet, there is a need for you to be careful to practice personal safety and keep your privacy at all times. Here is a list of do's and don'ts when you are using social media. Put a check mark on the statements which are necessary for your personal safety and privacy. Number 1. Post on social media that there is no one at home because your whole family is on vacation. 2. Give your home address or name of your school to a new Facebook friend. 3. Meet the person alone you have just met online. 4. Share personal details to all unknown individuals or strangers you just accepted as friends online. 5. Share valuable possessions like expensive jewelry, cash, gadgets online to show that you have it. 6. Share your social media account's password to all your friends. 7. Keep everyone updated of all your whereabouts so they will know what is happening to your life. 8. Go to websites and give personal details to have access to the site. 9. Send pictures to someone you don't know online. And 10. Don't tell your parents if you receive unkind and mean messages on the internet. After answering the activity, you may now answer this three processing questions. Number 1. Why is it important to protect one's privacy? 2. How do you protect your own and others' privacy? And 3. What advice can you give other children who use the internet or social media? To test what you have learned in this module, you are now going to answer the What I Have Learned activity, write a commitment on how you can protect yourself and others. To show your commitment, trace your right or left hand on a clean sheet of paper. Write your commitment statement inside your drawing. And lastly, you are now going to share your thoughts and feelings. Put a check mark in the statements that can be helpful in protecting yourself from harm. Number 1. Becoming cautious by informing parents if you see a suspicious stranger watching over your home. Two. Learn basic first aid procedures to know what to do if you encounter minor accidents like insect bites, small wounds, or scratches. 3. Avoid using cellular phones in public. 4. Give your personal details you have just met in social media or in the market. And 5. Ask assistance when using electrical or any appliances you wish to use.